is your first time here first time seeing my face i am just always so so happy that you're here um i want to start decluttering today okay i so i'm gonna do my declutter a little bit different right now i don't necessarily feel the need to declutter every single category of my makeup right now i actually I actually do a lot more decluttering throughout the year than what you guys see. I am the type of person who, like, if something doesn't really work for me, if it's really just, like, a glaring, bad formula, bad shade, whatever, I get rid of things. Like, I'm not going to keep stuff around and try to make it work. So, I actually, every couple months, I will go through my collection and I'll end up decluttering, like, a dozen things or so. So, I do get rid of things on a fairly regular basis. Um, but I think what I really want to focus some energy on today is particularly my cheek products, like my blushes, bronzers, highlighters. And I really, really have got to get a grip on my lip products as well. <laughs> my lip liners, lipsticks, lip glosses. I mean, I have, my lip products are in two drawers. And I just really need to get it under control. I'm decluttering for several reasons. Um, I never declutter like just to get rid of things. I don't really have an interest in being a minimalist or having a minimalistic makeup collection. I'm decluttering actually because, um, well, number one, I just need to. Like my makeup collection is getting somewhat out of control. It doesn't really all fit in like the drawers that I want it to fit in. And I actually kind of want to like do something a little bit different with my makeup space. I actually kind of want to get like a desk or a vanity. And in order to do that, um, yeah, I'm going to have to maybe get rid of at least one of the things that I keep my makeup on right now. So I need to kind of get it together and um, yeah that's pretty much it. So let's just get into it. Um, I also really quickly, I'm sorry, I think it bears mentioning that everything that I use, my entire makeup collection, everything you guys see, uh, it are things that I buy with my own money, <laughs> my hard earned money. I, YouTube is not my job. So I don't get things sent in PR. I don't ever buy things like to review on my channel like I'm not a review channel I don't I can't like write any of this stuff off on my taxes so this is all stuff that I buy because I genuinely love makeup love trying new things so anyway I if I want to hang on to something I'm going to so you know I can never promise a certain like percentage or like a massive declutter because I don't know We'll see how the mood strikes me. Sometimes I get in a very, let's just get rid of everything mode. And sometimes, um, sometimes I want to be a little bit more selective. So we shall see how the mood strikes today. I, like I said, I definitely know that I have got to get a grip on my lips. So if that sounds nice, if that sounds like something you feel like watching, eyeshadow is next, okay? If you were wondering if I was going to mention eyeshadow, eyeshadow is next. But I need much more time to film that than the time that I have this morning. So that's coming. I've got to get rid of some eyeshadow too. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. Like, subscribe, all those things. Let's get rid of some stuff. So we are going to start out with this container, which is all of my blushes, both cream and powder. I actually pulled the few products here that are in my shop, my stash, this rotation too. We'll just start with these because I know that I'm going to keep all of these. I have two of the Pat McGrath 
blushes. This is in Desert Orchid, one of my favorite blushes. I think like ever, these are such a fantastic formula. So I'm keeping both of these. Um, I may swatch some things, you guys, but this is not going to be like a full swatch video either. This is uh, Divine Rose, also beautiful. I'm actually wearing this today. And then my Honest Beauty, this is the Cream Cheek and Lip Color in Coral Peach. These are gorgeous. This is a really, really nice drugstore cream product. I actually really want the other color. Um, oh, what's it called? Something pink. Mm, I don't remember, but yeah, I like this packaging. It's super cute. It's like tin, has a nice mirror. It's really weighted actually, but that's beside the point. I will be keeping all of those. Um, oh goodness. I'm not quite sure where to even start here. I guess we'll just start from the beginning. So let's just take out, uh, just took out kind of the first chunk of products here. So my, t my Tower 28 uh, Magic Hour or Beach Please blush. Sorry, I always get those two confused. Beach Please is the line, and this is the shade Magic Hour. Um, this formula, I, I actually really enjoy. It's very, very emollient. Um, it it feels like a lip balm, quite honestly, but. I like the way it looks. It's not a formula that dries down completely. It does stay a little bit kind of waxy, dewy looking. Um, it's not something that I care for all of the time, especially wearing masks as frequently as we are still. It does not do well under a mask, but I do, I, I actually really do enjoy this and I am not ready to get rid of it just yet. Moving on to my Essence blushes, the blush from Essence. I have two shades. I have Bespoke and I have Befitting. Um, these are fantastic drugstore powder blushes, you guys. They, they really, really are. If you're looking for something that is just super affordable, these are so, like, they're so soft and so easy to blend like I love that shade um bespoke is probably my favorite of the two in terms of I mean as I'm just thinking about like shades of blush that I I'm more apt to reach for on a regular basis it's super pretty but I just don't think that it's something I need so I am going to get rid of this one and I'm going to keep uh, Bespoke because look at that. It's so gorgeous. But highly, highly recommend these blushes from the drugstore. My MAC Glow Play Blush in Soft Natural, or So Natural, sorry. This is one of my favorite blushes. I find myself thinking about this blush all the time, wanting to use this blush all the time. And even when I swatch it, you're probably like, mm, okay, what's, what's the big deal? It, I mean, there really is a perfect name for it. So natural. I just love this formula. I love the shade. It's so easy to build it does look quite natural. It's almost like a like a cream to powder formula. It just looks so gorgeous on the cheeks. It's I almost want to try more of this formula, but I just I haven't really seen another color in this formula that I'm like as in love with as this one. So if you have another recommendation, like another one of this formula that you really, really like, let me know because I'm so down to try more because this formula is incredible. I'm not getting rid of this. 
also i just wanted to tell you guys my son is home from school today he's having like some some gi stuff going on so you're probably most likely going to hear him jumping around screaming um he'll probably make his way into this video at some point but that's what all the noise is um my next blush is the flower pots powder blush i have the shade warm hibiscus you can probably see how gorgeous this is in the pan. I mean, I love the cute little flower embossing. I have used this several times. I mean, look at it swatched. It's it's very, very pretty. Um, I just don't know how I feel about it. I really don't. I, I remember the, the couple times that I used it, it really didn't show up all that much on my skin tone. Uh, I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't all that impressed with it, if I'm being honest with you. Um, and just generally speaking, I have tried other Flower Beauty potted blushes in the past. They just don't tend to be my absolute favorite formula. Um, now their cream blushes are a different story. I adore their cream blushes, but I actually, I mean, even with this being a fairly new product and me only having used it a couple times, I'm fine getting rid of this. I don't, like, this isn't adding anything to my collection. It's definitely not special enough to want to keep. And my Undone Beauty, uh, the Glow Giving, or Lip to Cheek Palette with Glow Giving Coconut Extract. Um, I have the shade Rosewood. This, I actually really like. I really like this. Um, I mean, it's a gorgeous color. It's very, I find it very easy to blend. Um, it sort of reminds me of the Tower 28 in formula a little bit. I mean, you can probably see that this isn't quite as waxy or, you know, emollient as the Tower 28. This one I find though also doesn't, it doesn't set down 100% on my skin. Like it doesn't dry to a powder at all, which is fine. I don't necessarily need that. Um, I just again am wondering, I'm wondering if it's something I need. I, I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence about this. Um, I do really like the color. I do think the shade is different enough that I could keep both. Um, I'm going to set this aside and we'll, we'll circle back. You know what? I don't need to circle back to this. I'm going to get rid of this. I have enjoyed using this, but as I'm thinking, like, I know that there are other cream, cream blush formulas that I want to try. There are other formulas that I want to try this year. I really, really want to try the new Rose Ink blushes. I really want to try, like, the Stila cream blushes. I just want to try some different formulas, and I don't need to hang on to this. I have other formulas that I like better. Even though this is this is not a bad product, it's really not. I, I do like Undone Beauty. I like their kind of aesthetic and their, you know, like minimal multi-use sort of vibe, but I just don't need this. Okay, moving on, moving on. Um, my Milk Makeup Blush Stick in Swish. I'm getting rid of this. I am getting rid of this and it's such a shame because I have literally only used it like three or four times. It's like in theory, I loved this, right? It's like, it's a pretty color. I, I truly do not have any other blushes this color, powder or cream. Um, I just, I don't, I just don't reach for this. I, I had to force myself to use this. Like I put it in my shop, my stash a couple months ago and I, I had to force myself to use it and it was fine. It looked fine. Um, it's just, 
it's not my favorite formula in a cream blush. It's it's not. And I know a lot of people really like these. I love and adore my milk bronzer stick, but I don't need this. I don't need it. I don't want it. It's not going to get the proper love and attention in my collection. And like I said, there are there are other things that I want to try this year. Other brands, other formulas. So we're moving on from this. My Milani Luminoso. I'm not getting rid of this. Oh, dang. Broken packaging aside, this is like my second or third of this blush that I've owned in my makeup life, you guys. It's just... I really do think that it is a classic for a reason. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful color. It has a beautiful sheen. It's that swatch actually looks quite impressive and quite pigmented, but it's it's not that strong on the cheeks. I mean, it's it's just a really lovely like wash of this luminous coral color. I love it. It's a fantastic drugstore blush. My Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur in Mauve Sunrise. I really like this. I really, really like this. Um, the formula of these actually kind of reminds me of the MAC blush that I just raved about. This actually feels a little bit more powdery than that even. Like it's, it's the same type of texture. It's like that bouncy putty stuff, but this really, really feels powdery once you get it on your skin. And I love the color. It's it's just so, so flattering. I'm, I'm definitely not ready to get rid of that. My Alme Healthy Hue Blush. I hate this packaging. I really wish Alme would like get it together. Like what is this packaging? Can, you can't like, there has to be a cooler, sleeker way to, like you're already not being paid attention to like in the makeup game like step up your like give people a reason to want to look at your products you know what I mean and like this is not it this packaging is so terrible but despite that I love this blush I love this blush this formula is fantastic it's so incredibly smooth and soft and I think the name of this line is perfect, Healthy Hue. Sorry, not in frame. Because um, that's exactly what this blush does for your complexion. Like once you, I'm going to try to share it out and you can probably see. It just has this lovely, natural sheen to it. Ugh, it's, this is, this is a beautiful beautiful drugstore product I think they only have a few shades um I always forget what shade I have because I like ripped it off um but anyway love these love these uh fucking hate the packaging it's so terrible <laughs> my Vive blushes I'm not getting rid of these are some of my favorite blushes ever 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 in my whole collection her sunset blushes I have Pesca which is my absolute favorite and then uh, Cherub, which you know what? Honestly, I feel totally fine getting rid of that milk makeup blush now looking at this. They're definitely not dupes, right? I mean, they're definitely not dupes, but having this pink blush, I'm totally fine with. I don't need both of these. And I know one's cream, one's powder, but I would reach for the Cherub blush any day over my milk blush, so. Totally fine with that. All right, let's talk about my Fenty cream blushes. So this is a product that I loved, loved so much. This was actually one of the first cream blush and bronzer formulas that I ever tried. The Fenty cream bronzer is still like my favorite bronzer ever of all time. Okay. Um, I... I don't know that I feel that way about this blush formula anymore. You know, like this was wonderful 
for what it was, you know, a year ago. Uh, I got these a year and a half ago, I think. I think I got them around May of 2020, like around my birthday slash Mother's Day. I just don't know that I love them as much anymore, okay? I don't know that the formula is something that I'm still in love with. This is Petal Poppin'. This is Crush on Cupid? Yeah. Crush on Cupid and Cool Berry. Um, and I just don't, I don't know. I'm so torn on these. I know for sure that I don't need or want this Crush on Cupid. Like, it's a fine enough color. It's just not a shade that I'm... It's just not a shade that I'm like jazzed about, <laughs> that I'm excited about. Um, and these two, this is very, very similar in tone to the um, Honest Beauty Blush. Now the Honest Beauty Blush is a more pigmented, it's a little bit brighter, but it gives me the same enough vibe that I, I think I'm okay passing on this too. And this, my Cool Berry is, uh, quite frankly, it's my favorite of the three. And I do think that it's a unique enough shade in my collection that I'll hang on to this. I'll just hang on to the one. This here, um, their Matchstick in Trippin'. I have used this before. This is like a very metallic, like golden peach it's it's super super pretty i used it as a blush which to be honest i think these matchsticks are meant to be kind of multi-purpose you can do blush highlighter I, you could probably even put this on your eyes whatever um it's very very unique to my collection and i really really do like the shade um i don't think i'm ready to get rid of this quite yet i do kind of want to play with it a little bit more i think that a color like this would be absolutely stunning like when I'm a little bit more tan you know if I ever get outside this summer I have two nude sticks uh nudies I have nudies matte and nudies bloom uh one obviously is matte one is dewy I have salty siren this is the first one I bought I've had this for a long time love this color love this formula I I just really do I love the nude sticks bronzer and blush formula not ready to get rid of that and this I just oh damn okay well this is the shade poppy girl I think this this is the one they did in collaboration with uh oh god what's her name Alana something but this is the dewy and it's, look at that color. Oh my god. This actually is one that I think I could see myself wearing. And I probably would wear this as like a lip and a cheek product. I don't know if that's how they're supposed to be used, honestly. Oh yeah, multitasking balm to create skin brightening, fresh, dewy color for eye. Oh, eyes, lips, and face. Okay. But yeah, I mean, that is stunning. I'm gonna keep both of those. And the last couple in this little pile here, my Nabla blush, my skin glazing in Truth. This is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I'm not getting rid of that. And then this is a new one. This is really new to my collection. This is the Dalton Dream Whip Multitasking Blush and Highlight Souffle in You're Making Me Blush. This is really pretty. I, I really have been enjoying using this. It's such a different shade. Um, doesn't look all that special. It's almost like a, uh, it's almost like a rose gold mauve color. It has this beautiful sheen to it. It does, it's cream, but it dries down to a powder. It's just gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm not getting rid of that, obviously. And then my last cream blushes here, which uh, 
honestly, I'm not getting rid of any of these either. I'm not ready to. These are all lovely. Um, the Flower Beauty Blush Bombs. These three are the newest to my collection. I bought these three just this year. I have Cinnamon, Spiced, and Cheeky. And then these two are some of the OG shades that I have. I have uh, Nectar and Melon. These are, I mean, first of all, see, this is what I mean by packaging. Like, you can be a drugstore product and have super cute packaging, okay, Alme? Looking at you. I just love these. Packaging, 10. I love the formula. Um, and then the last two things I have in here are, I don't know, I just keep them with my blush, so I'm going to do them, I guess, with this uh, basket here. These are the Jaclyn Hill duos. This is, um, Coco. Yeah. Coco Rich and Hot Lava. This is like one of the deepest shades she has and it works for me. <laughs> um, I, I really do like the formula of these. Okay. This bronzer is, it has almost like a reddish undertone to it when it's blended out. And I love how that looks on me. Um, I, I don't know that these are things that I'm going to have in my collection like forever, but I'm really enjoying them for now. This is my favorite of the two. This is Stay Rosy and Yummy Toffee. I, like I said, I mean, I just, I really do like the formula of the powder products in here. They're very buildable, very blendable. Um, yeah, I enjoy them. I'm going to keep them for now. All right, let's, let's move on. Okay. You know what I want to do? I want to do bronzer first. So let me grab all these out. Shoot. You know what you guys, <laughs> I just found my, I had this in the wrong container. So this is my Mario Badesco, or Jesus Christ, Makeup by Mario. <laughs> uh, I always say that, Makeup by Mario. Soft pop blush stick, I have earthy pink. I'm keeping this. I, I only just got this earlier this year. I really love it, love the tone, love the way it performs. So I will be keeping this. I'm gonna put it in the correct container. See, that's what happens too when you have a big collection is like stuff ends up in the wrong place like these these are also blushes my charlotte tilbury uh charlotte tilbury glowgasm beauty light ones i have pink peach gasm and pink gasm these are some of my favorites like ever 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 totally worth the hype keeping both of these I'm pretty sure that's it. I'm pretty sure everything else is as it should be. Again, I'm just going to show you what I have in my stash for right now. I have my um, Makeup by Mario uh, sculpting thing. I have Light Medium. This is one of my favorite products. I have my Nude Sticks in Bondi Bay. I am so close to being finished with this. Again, this is like one of my absolute favorite formulas colors i this i would absolutely repurchase i i don't know that i will because i have so many other ones but i would absolutely recommend this repurchase it i love it and i'm not getting rid of my Too faced sweethearts bronzer in sweet tea this is one of my favorite favorite powder bronzers and to be quite frank with you i am not really in love with powder bronzers at the present moment and I haven't been for a while so if I keep a powder bronzer it's like it's good and I use it okay let's get into I guess let's do my cream bronzers first and honestly as I'm looking at all of my bronzers I really don't know what I'm gonna be able to declutter I may not be ready to get rid of anything but let's just look at things um things that I know I'm keeping definitely keeping my milk 
makeup bronzer stick in Baked. As I said, I love it. Definitely keeping my Fenty Cream Bronzer and Macchiato. I have Pan. I've already gone through one whole entire one of these. And I will absolutely repurchase when that Macchiato is gone. Um, my Huda, I'm not... My Huda, I'm not quite ready to get rid of yet. I got the shade Light. These tend to run pretty pigmented. So I, most people I've seen have gotten like a shade lighter than what they would normally get. But I love this. Love this product. I think this is like one of the best products that she, that she does, that she sells. Fantastic. Not getting rid of that. Another one I'm definitely not getting rid of is the um, NARS Cream Laguna. I actually thought about buying the Powder Laguna just because I've, I've gone through so many of them over the years and I love this Cream Laguna, but we're going to hold off. We're going to use what I have and maybe that'll be a future purchase, but... Uh, my Fenty Matchstick in Mocha. I actually like this so much more than what I thought I was going to. It's one of those bronzers that does have a little bit of almost like a red undertone on me. And I adore it. And it's so, so easy to use. This formula is really, really great. And I it's one of my favorites. Um, okay, so you know what? As I'm looking at things, I think I'm ready to get rid of this. This is honestly a really really beautiful bronzer this is the tower 28 bronzino bronzer in west coast it's gorgeous like look at that it's so beautiful and it really really looks fantastic like in the summer as just like a natural glowy thing but I've had it for a while. I mean, we'll we'll be coming up on two years in 2022 that I have owned this product. And I just, I don't know. I just feel like I don't, I just don't need it. You know, quite frankly, that's, that's really all it is. Nothing deeper than that. I do think that it's pretty. I, you know, I like the Tower 28 formula. I just, I don't need this. Oh, this one, man. Um, you, if you watch my channel, if you've seen me use this, if you've seen the saga of the, no, I'm kidding. The Danessa Myricks, this is her power bronzer. I got the shade medium. Like, look at how orange that is. That is an orange bronzer. Um, the formula is fine. Um, I just hate this color. I just hate this shade on me. I really, really, obviously it's just my error, but I don't think I want to keep this. Like, I really don't. I don't think that I want to keep trying to make it work. So I think I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to pass this on. Okay, my Patrick Ta, I have She's Sculpted, the Cream Contour and Powder Duo. Oh, Okay. Y'all, I also don't know about this, okay? Let me swatch this for you. I'm going to say right off the bat that this is not... It's not my favorite formula, okay? It's not bad. It's not bad. What I wish, what I actually wish, is that these would not have been duos. Like, I wish I would have had the option to just buy the cream. Um... Because if I could do that, I would have. Like, the cream is gorgeous. The actual bronzer, um, I'm not, I'm not totally in love. Like, they look fine layered. They look fine layered on each other. Um, the, the powder bronzer is never something that I'm going to just reach for on its own. So, I don't know. I'm just, like, I'm torn. Do I... Do I want to keep this? I mean, you can see that I love the cream. Like, I have a, a strong divot there. I probably could pan the cream. Um, I hate to just get rid of it. Um, ugh. Yeah, it's not my favorite, but I think I'm going to keep it. And I'll, I'll just focus on the cream and get it out of my collection. But... 
yeah I'm honestly just kind of like lukewarm about this product it's it's not I don't think it's anything fantastic if I'm being honest with you and then my powder bronzers um this you know is not going anywhere this is my Ulta uh this is their natural glow matte bronzer in tan this is lovely I mean it's one of my favorite powder bronzers ever I would definitely repurchase that this Mulani uh, Silky Matte Bronzing Powder, I have the shade 2 in Sunkissed. Now, I have gone through these in the past. I have, you know, used these up. So, it's it definitely is something that I like. I have liked. Um, like, this is, this is fairly new. And I just don't know that it's like... Something that I like enough that I want to keep it. And as I'm looking at my other powder bronzers, there's there's other formulas that I just have come to like better. So I'm going to get rid of that one too. Like this. This is amazing. I am I am not getting rid of this. This is the Nabla Soft Revenge. I mean, it's just stunning like that tone is so beautiful I love this bronzer this is one of my absolute favorites this wet and wild color icon and sunset strip tees I've gone through these before too it's I've said it before and I'll say it again it is a very unassuming bronzer okay even that swatch is like what like what is that that is not exciting trust me you get this on the face and it's like, it's just magic. I, I love the way this looks. I it just gives you the most beautiful, healthy glow. I love the little bit of like just sun kissed color that it gives me this. I will continue to repurchase. It's so, so pretty. And then I have my Vive Duo in medium. This is another one that, if I'm being honest with you, uh, I enjoy, right? Like, it's pretty, and this is very new to my collection. Um, I don't think that the powders are, like, the most silky, smooth bronzing powders I've ever touched or tried. Um, I, when I use this, I just take my brush and I mix the two and I do quite like it. I do. It is, it's a very buildable formula. Even this medium shade is, it's not super, super intense to where you're gonna, you're gonna like be overwhelmed or it's going to be too pigmented. It's, um, it's very usable, workable. Um, I love the package. I mean, I just love, I love Vive. I really do love Vive Cosmetics and I'm going to hang on to this. I, I do enjoy this. Okay. I love that. I was actually able to downgrade the size of container that my bronzers are in. And I know I have like three that are in my stash, so this probably won't work, um, you know, forever, but whatever. I love that they all fit in here. <laughs> For the time being and finally my highlighters um i do actually you guys I, I need to be a little bit brutal here okay i my highlighters i have got to get under control all right I, i'm just gonna start grabbing stuff okay my flower beauty highlighting palette i'm absolutely keeping this is beautiful one of my favorite drugstores um, drugstore products, you know what I mean? The Revlon Highlight in Daybreak Glimmer. This is the one that everybody says is a dupe for Omrizi, which actually I have never swatched them next to each other. So let's do that because I definitely don't need both of them. So that's Amrezy, that's Daybreak Glimmer. They're definitely similar. I mean, actually this one is a little bit darker. Um, I'm keeping the Amrezy. I mean, that's definitely more pretty to me. Something I'll reach for over this. I'm going to get rid of this. My Vive highlighter in Holy Chic. This is new to my collection. One of my newest highlighters. 
and that's it right there I love it not getting rid of it um, other ones that I know I'm gonna keep my rare beauty and mesmerize is one of my favorites um, definitely keeping my makeup by Mario and Pearl you know that's one of my favorites my Stila is one of my favorites this is their heavens hue I have the shade kitten these are slept on y'all these are so good I'm keeping both of these. I really, really like these drugstore highlighters. This is the flower. Um, it's like a balm, they call it. Oh, a glaze. Hi uh, highlighting glaze. I have the shade Day Glow. Or is that? No, it's Stunner. Is that the shade? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have the shade Stunner. And this is beautiful. It is just the most, like natural subtle lit from within drugstore highlight this is one of my favorites too this nyx high glass look at that it probably doesn't even look it doesn't even look like anything on my skin Ugh, but it's so pretty on the skin both of these are just very very um again just kind of like more natural subtle highlights but i have the shade uh moon glow really really like those um other things i know i'm gonna keep i know i'm gonna keep my pixie duo and delicate do that's one of my favorites love my fenty duo this is in my stash right now not getting rid of that i have mean money and hustla baby not gonna get rid of my essence pure nude just yet this is in my stash this is another like really pretty drugstore highlight and it's again just like very subtle it's not anything that's like crazy glitzy but it's really really pretty on the skin so I'm gonna keep both of those um you guys I think it's time to get rid of my champagne pop I've had this for so long it's been repressed I and as gorgeous as it is, I mean, it is a beautiful highlight. It really is. Um, I just don't see the need to hang on to it. I really don't. Especially, it's, I mean, it's not something I'm ever going to be able to repurchase. It's like, I, let's just get it gone. I don't need it. Uh, the other thing I think I'm going to get rid of is... This pains me, actually. This is the I Heart Revolution Tasty Apple Highlighter. Um, this is beautiful. Like, this is a really beautiful, super affordable, like, golden highlight. The thing of it is, is that I just, I don't really wear golden highlights. And that's really, really dark for my skin tone, personally. So I'm going to pass this on. I'm going to see if somebody else in my life wants it. But if you are like of a deep skin tone, deeper than me, like medium, tan, deep, dark, I think this would look gorgeous on you. It's, it's really, really a nice highlighter. I like the formula even. I mean, it's nice. It's just not for me. Um, now this is a gold highlight that I actually am going to keep. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty, uh, Beauty Light Wand Easy Highlighter in two. So I did get the shade medium and it is quite dark. Okay. But the thing that I enjoy about it is that it's very easily like sheared out. And it's like her other, uh, you know, sort of products in the same packaging, these sort of like glowy wand type products. It's just pretty, like it's easy to use. It gives you a very pretty like glow to the skin. This would even be really pretty as like a bronzer topper for me, like in the summer, if I wanted to do something like that. Um, so yeah, I'm not quite ready to get rid of this yet either. Um, okay, these other things I don't know how I feel about. So this is the Danessa Myricks Illuminating Veil Liquid Highlighter for Face and Body. Um, I have only used this a handful of times. What shade did I get? Serenity. So it's very, very pretty. 
Oof. I don't think I'm ready to get rid of this yet. Now, can you see that there's, it's probably hard to pick up on camera, but there's actually like little glitters in there. There's little glitter, like micro, micro glitters, nothing like super chunky. Um, this, I think I might actually like better as like a body highlighter, but I don't, I don't even do body highlighters. Like, I don't know. I do like this though. And I just, again, I don't think I'm ready to get rid of this. My benefit cookie mm -mm, is really pretty. It is more of like an icy champagne highlighter, but it's not, but it's not too icy. It's very, very like creamy and blendable. You know what? Let me swatch. I want to swatch this one. This is the Jaclyn Hill iced out highlighter in, or no, it's, <laughs> I got the shade iced. These are just her, the new highlighters that she came out with this year. Let's try to swatch this next to it. So this is the Jaclyn Hill. I mean, it's definitely more like, mm, it's definitely a little bit more like intense. Oh, but they're both so pretty. Oh, this is hard, you guys. I'm going to keep them both. I'm going to keep them both. But you know what? I don't think this is a highlighter that I need. Now, these highlighters are actually gorgeous. This is the Milani Baked Highlighters. I have the shade Dolce Perla. Um, mm. It's really, really pretty. It has a little bit of like a, a pinky golden sheen to it. I don't know if that's picking up at all. But I just don't think I need it. And there's like so much product in here. I'm, I'm never going to go through this. So I'm going to get rid of this. I'm happy with the other choices that I've made. I definitely have other like pink, you know, pinky pearly highlighters that I'm, I'm satisfied with. So that's it for highlighters. Okay. I feel way better about that. Let's take an inventory here. Out of two, four, six blushes, two, four, three, excuse me, three bronzers and four highlighters. So six, nine, 13. We got rid of 13 products altogether out of all three categories. So I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Like I said, I'm not necessarily looking to get rid of like most of my collection, but this all makes sense to me. So let's move okay, on. This is the container that currently houses my lip liners and like lip gloss. It, that's what it's supposed to be. Okay. Let's just get into this. I'm going to kind of fast forward the lip portion of this or the lip liner. I mean, um, to be honest with you, I'm not interested in getting rid of like a ton of these, but I know that there are lip liners in here that are very, very old. So let me just kind of weed those out. Okay, so off the bat, I know that these are all colors I'm keeping. These are all ones that I know are very old in my collection. Um, and let's go through these real quick. Um, my Kylie ones, most of these are, I want to say at least a couple years old. This is rosy. I do like the Kylie lip formula. That's a color that I'll use. I'm going to keep that. This is, um, apricot. 
No, I don't need that. I'll get rid of that. That is not a shade I'm going to use. This is a uh, party girl. Oh, eh. I don't feel like sharpening that and making it work. So let's get rid of that. And oh, is this posy K? Ugh, I really like this. This is a color I really like. Uh, I am going to keep these two. And then these three. I think all of these are old, you guys. This is the shade uh, Fuchsia from Milani. And Milani actually has nice lip liners, but it's old. That's a color I don't necessarily need to keep. This is the Rimmel uh, in Ravish. I really enjoy the Rimmel lip liners, the Exaggerate line. But again, these are very, very old. Uh, that's not a color that I tend to wear a lot, um, nor is this one really. This is the shade Epic. I have gotten quite a bit of use out of these though. Ooh, that's really pretty though. But you know what? I have, as you saw, so many nude lip liners. So let's get rid of all these. First, just say I'm not getting rid of any of my Fenty's. Uh, also, I know I'm not getting rid of any of my Pat McGrath's. Uh, three of these are brand new. I have the shade, oof, sorry, I gotta get this close to my face. This is Belladonna. I have Prima Donna, Wicked Whisper, and I have Peach Perversion. So I love the Pat McGrath lip glosses. Not getting rid of those. Let's swatch these Revlon things, or L'Oreal, excuse me. Let's see, this is the shade Be Powerful. Ooh, I like that. I really, really don't have any kind of shades like that. This is the shade Be Uncontrollable. I really, I think the nude shades in this are my favorite. This is Be Determined. And I actually really do enjoy this formula. Mm, oh, God, I really don't have any colors like that either. This one, I think I'm going to get rid of, though. I remember not. Like, I love that color. Oh, I love it so much. I just remember not totally loving the way that this one wore. This is the shade um, I Radiate. Yeah, I'll get rid of this one, but I do enjoy those other ones. Okay, offhand, um, definitely keeping my lifter glosses. I don't know where the other ones are, but keeping my Rob Beauty Christie ColourPop. I am going to get rid of all of my Jouer. These are so old, like so, so old, like disgustingly old. You don't want to know I'm getting rid of them. Keeping my fruit fetish gloss. I love just putting that on. Um, these are products that I am kind of annoyed by. Well, first of all, like, I mean, the packaging is fantastic. Okay. These are some tart thing. I can't remember the name of it and I don't have my glasses on. Um, Quench Lip Rescue. So I have the shade Opal and Coral. This shade is so ugly on me, you guys. It's like this frosty pink. Oh, I hate the way this looks on me. I'm getting rid of this. These have a very, very very nice like just a refreshing mint scent this shade I actually really like this is coral and it's just beautiful it's really really beautiful I just never think to reach for these I never reach for these and I just don't know that I see myself ever reaching for them so I think I am gonna get rid of these I'm also going to get rid of both of these glosses. This Glam Light gloss has been in my stash for two rotations and I never used it. This I knew when I bought it I would never wear it. This is like some Wet n Wild uh, Zodiac lip gloss. This is the Gemini one but it's like this frosty gold. Never going to wear that. I still love these Revlon HD lip polishes. I'm keeping all of these. These are just like such a gorgeous product. 
Um, you know what? I'm going to get rid of both of these too. My other Glam Light gloss, I've never used it. This other Beauty Bakery gloss, I, I do enjoy. It's supposed to be just kind of like a an iridescent, like pearly white color, but as you can see, it's totally tainted. So going to get rid of both of those. Okay, uh, I've been filming for so long, my phone just died. Um, where was I? I... <laughs> So my Milani Ludicrous glosses, um, ugh, I really like these, you guys. I think these are such a great drugstore gloss formula. Um, I think I'm going to keep this one. This is Luster Light. Yeah, I really like that one, but I think I'm going to get rid of this one. This is just a shade that I, I mean, as gorgeous as it is. I just don't find myself reaching for. This is semi-charmed, so I'll get rid of this one. This is the ColourPop, uh, this is part of their Tinkerbell collection. This is Clap If You Believe, one of their, oh, I don't know, what are these? Their lip tints, lip oil things. I actually really do like this. Okay, sorry, I was, didn't think I was focusing. Um, I do like this. I do enjoy this. I like the way that it wears. I think it has some really nice longevity to it. I am, mm, I'm tempted to keep my Nabla gloss just because it's like so pretty, but yeah, keeping it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to keep my Tower 28 clear gloss. This is some of the best lip gloss. Like the formula on this is insane um I just don't think I need this coral shade I mean I love I feel like I love the idea of coral lips more than I actually like wearing coral lips so I'm gonna get rid of this one okay this is the mother load y'all this is most of my bullet lipsticks this is where shit gets hard okay at least for me I, I love my lipsticks. However, my plan with this is to actually not swatch things <laughs> as much as I can because I find that I fall into the trap of swatching things and then really, you know, justifying like, oh, this has more red, this has more purple, like I can keep both and I really don't want to do that. I think what I'm going to do, um, I have noticed, I'm going to kind of zoom us in a little bit here. Just my preferences in the last year are very, very different. I love having different options. I love a red lip, love an orange lip, love a pink lip, but do I need five pinks? I don't think so. Okay. So I really, now look, reds are different. Okay. Reds are different. I probably will keep several reds, but let's just get into it. I'm going to try my best to just kind of grab and go. So let's start as I'm, these two are kind of grabbing my attention right away. These are the Milani lipsticks. I know just offhand that I like the sh shade of Empress more than I like Sweet Nectar. Sweet Nectar is like a true orange. It's absolutely gorgeous, but Empress is more of like a red orange, which is what I prefer. So I'm going to get rid of Sweet Nectar, keep Empress. Um, as far as these pinks, um, mm. shit, I actually might need to swatch these. Okay. I know that I want to keep Rose Hip. That's one of my favorites. Um, Let's swatch. This is Hot Pink Rage and Power Pink. Oh, I think I'm going to like this one more. Yeah, okay. So we're going to keep Power Pink, get rid of this. And I don't even know. Oh, those two are actually really similar. Hmm. And I kept the other one over this. Okay, well, we're just going to go with it. Look, I'm, I've am i got to get my lipsticks under control. I just have to. 
Um, okay, so I know I'm going to keep Red Label. I love Red Label. Um, let's look at this one. Flamingo Pose. I think this is probably one I would... Mm, fuck. This is... <laughs> This is precisely why I hate swatching things. Okay, I'm going to keep that. All of these, these I am, these are all new. This is their bold collection, so I'm keeping those. Uh, Rose Femme, I feel like, is a color that I have, well, first of all, it's old as hell, you guys. And I have gotten such good use out of it. I really, really have. There's other nudes I reach for more. This Plum Rose color. I kind of feel the same about, like it's pretty enough, but it's just not, I just don't ever think about it. I don't reach for it. Uh, so that's good on my Milani's. I got rid of four of them. Let's move into my Maybelline's. Um, these pink colors. Now this one I know I'm going to keep. Pink Pop. This is like a blue based bubblegum pink. I don't have anything else like that. I love it. Uh, Hot Plum and Fifth Avenue Fuchsia. Let's swatch these. Let's see if these are things that I need. Oh, these lipsticks make me, like, they just make me feel something, you guys. Like, I'm so, they make me very nostalgic, like, 2014, 2015, like, collecting all these. I don't know. I just, I, I really, really like these. Um, so we have Hot Plum up top, and Fifth Avenue Fuchsia. These are very similar here. This one and this one, this one and this one are similar. I think I'm going to keep Fifth Avenue Fuchsia. I just kind of like that shade a little bit more. Um, my oranges here, Electric Orange and Vibrant Mandarin. Mm, I think I like the Mandarin one better. There's, let me get them both swatched and I'll show you. And then what's this one? Electric orange. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to like the... Ooh, damn, they're both pretty though. So that's electric orange. That's vibrant mandarin. I'm going to keep vibrant mandarin. I know I'm going fast, you guys. I really, really am trying to like... I, I truly am trying to speed through this so that I don't second guess myself, don't end up pulling things back in because that's what I don't want. Vivid Rose. Oh, this was like a favorite for a long time. Is it something I need though? Oh, is it something I need? I kept this one. They're not Oh, I, I was just saying, I kept this one here, and I know they're not totally similar. Mm, I don't need it. I don't need it. Fuck. Okay, let's move on. Um, on Fire Red is one of my favorites. Uh, Siren and Scarlet is also one of my favorites. It's a little bit different tone of a red than a true red. These are like my two... I don't really have any... Um, of spice I like and this is one of my only like deep dark shades this is divine wine yeah I'm gonna keep that I don't have anything like that um, my flower lipsticks I have flamingo flirt bright peony mm. these are all I really like them you know I'm not getting rid of my fairest nude flower beauties together here I'm gonna get rid of this this is a Rimmel lipstick and naughty nude this is just old 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 and I have definitely definitely gotten some use out of it but I don't need it it's hella old um, what else? What else? So my two DJs, uh, unique boutique lipsticks. I have Blushing Bride and Black Cherry. Black Cherry, she just kind of threw into an order, uh, for free. It's not a shade that I'm going to reach for a ton. And I actually kind of prefer, I prefer this deeper of a tone. So, but I do really like Blushing Bride. I'm going to hang on to that. 
my Juvia's Place lipsticks. Um, you guys, if I'm being honest with you, I did not love the formula of these. You know I'm not like a huge matte lip girl, so I'm getting rid of these. Um, keeping all of my Prapa, okay? I just am not going to justify it. I love them. Um, I'm going to get rid of this. This is a lip bar lipstick. Um, I actually really love this tone of red, but it's been broken forever. It's it's like not even sitting in there. It's Cosmo is the shade, but it's gone. This is a new MAC lipstick. I'm not getting rid of that. My NARS Audacious I love. This is new. This is new. Oh, what shade is this? This is new. Brazilian Tan. New. Uh, my Rimmels. More Rimmels. Again, you guys, these are bordering on like nine years old. I'm getting rid of both of these. <laughs> oh, it's sick to admit um more rimmels so the rimmel kate collection again look if you are like a makeup og you know how disgustingly old these are don't don't call me out okay don't don't shame me in the comments but i'm finally gonna get rid of them i really really loved these but gonna get rid of both of them um, what else? I kind of think I can get rid of this, too. Um, this is a NYX. Oh, fuck, that's pretty, though. Oh, my God. Shocking pink. Ugh, I really do like that. Um, hang on, we're gonna circle back to that. Uh, like I said, I'm not getting rid of any of my Prapa. All of my Fenty Mademoiselles are new newer to my collection. I'm going to get rid of my Anastasia liquid lipstick in Cherish. I never use it. Um, I'm going to get rid of my NYX Intense Butter Gloss in Chocolate Crepe. I never use it. Um, ugh. Okay, so all of these like stick these stick products let's talk about um these are the color pop lippy sticks these are from the uh wild child collection so i have sassy i really love the lippy stick formula i have uh oh behave and i have brat pack uh brat pack and this one are probably my favorite, but I just am wondering as I'm looking at those, like, do I need any of them? I have like chocolate browns in my Prapa and I like the Prapa formula even a little bit better. This one is really, I mean, I don't need them. Okay. I'm going to get rid of them. Let me not start humming and hawing. This is a doll 10 lippy and smoking hot. I haven't even used this yet, but it's really, really pretty. The formula feels wonderful. Um, I'm just going to keep it. Like I said, I haven't even had a chance to use it. Um, this is a new lipstick to me. This is a, a Revlon Super Lustrous Shine Lipstick in Toasting Glasses. We're going to hang on to that. I just think it's time to get rid of all my NYX, you guys. Oh, this is DJ's. I'm not getting rid of that. This is a lip gloss in nude with attitude but i do think i can get rid of these as much as i love this i don't know if they still sell this but if they do i might repurchase it not now but maybe this is the extreme shine lip cream in hey dolly this is just one of my favorite products i every time i wear this i get compliments on it like somebody always asks me what is on my lips this, I just, I don't wear purple lips all that often. Very strudel. And this is Prague. Getting rid of them. Um, and what else? What else? What else? Uh, this is a Moira lip gloss that I've used like once. I don't care for it. I'm going to get rid of it. Sorry, I'm trying to get all my Fenty things together here. This is a NYX XXL. For as much as I don't like liquid lipsticks, um, I really do enjoy this formula, so I'm going to keep that. 
said I was keeping my DJs and getting rid of this Moira. Okay, so I actually feel good about that. Uh, I'm glad I was able to make some space in here. And I do have, I do have a few liquid lips in my shop, my stash right now. I had them in there with the purpose of um, just kind of seeing how I feel about them. I have a couple of Gerard Cosmetics. I have one from like Still Glamorous or Casey's line. Um, so yeah, I stay tuned. When I do my shop, my stash update, I'll let you know about those, but I was able to clear quite a bit of space. That makes me feel really good. Um, whew, okay. Um, but that's it. I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Stay tuned for an eyeshadow palette declutter, and I will see you next time. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other beauties.